What's up, everybody? OMB. Y'all appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed. And hit the bell icon so you can be notified for future videos. Oh, yeah. I'm doing it again. So, look. I'm doing this video because a lot of y'all like to talk noise about Deontay Wilder. So, already, we done heard Teddy Atlas speak on Deontay Wilder. He said he was the greatest puncher he, uh, he's ever seen. You know what I'm saying? The greatest puncher. You know what I'm saying? Yo, so, and then he told you what he did for him to, you know, for him to give him that title. And what he do. You know what I'm saying? So, excuse me, excuse me. That felt good. But anyway, um, his... Tyson Fury's former trainer who trained him for his past fat his past his past five fights named Ben Davison. Now, what he does, he does two things. He exposes a, a flaw that Tyson Fury has that he does all the time. You know what I'm saying? That nobody talks about. And he gives a skill. That Deontay Wilder has that y'all claim he don't have, that he don't have any, which is a skill. You know what I'm saying? So check this out. Let me look at the time real quick, y'all. Make sure I'm on point. All right, I'm on point. Boom. So this is Ben Ben Davison, and this is verbatim. The first account is about Wilder, and the second account is about Tyson Fury. <clears throat> ben Davison. Fighters have habits and tendencies. Y'all hear that? Fighters have habits and tendencies. And that's what you look for as a trainer. If you do something too often and for too long, at the top level, you'll be, you'll, you'll be made to pay for it. What Wilder does is he bounces on the spot. Not back and forth. Not back and forward. But on the spot. And it's a mental reset. Uh, Y'all got that, right? Now, for Tyson Fury, is when he touches his face and wipes his nose. And I know Wilder worked on that. And went to the and went and went to throw when Tyson got hit with the right hand on top of all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. let me say that again. For Tyson, it's when he touches his face and wipes his nose. And I know Wilder worked on that. And went to throw when Tyson got hit, when Tyson got hit with a right hand on top of his head. He wiped his nose, touched his face, a bit of a reset. So he knows that Wilder knows when this man wipes his nose or touches his face to punch him. You know what I'm saying? So check this out. That's a skill, B. Whether you know it or not, a lot of fighters do got bad habits. So check it out. When you in the ring with Wilder, yo. Let's say you go to pull up your damn shorts like a lot of them do. Boom! You get knocked in your jaw, B, because he know you're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, <laughs> bro, you can't do nothing, B. You got to be on your P's and Q's, boy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, for real, y'all. So the man just admitted that Wilder has a skill. He notices the things that no other fighter even noticed, B. Come on, what fighter even look for that? Back in the days, they used to do that. Back in the days, they used to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I'll tell you, like, 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 for instance, a good example of something, well, I can't really use it as a good example because, you know, um, 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 Roy Jones Jr. had baited, um, 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 my man, um, um, James Tony into doing the chicken and then he caught him, but that, that's a bad example, so I'm not going to use that. But it has been people who got habits of doing something. I, I forget what fight it was, but I did see somebody who constantly pulled up their shorts a lot, a lot, a lot, and then the fighter caught on to it. And it, it's been, it's been like, I say, in the past 30 years, I'll probably give it about a good four or five fighters that I've seen do it. Maybe four or five, on, on and not really on a consistent basis because everybody don't have habits like that. But you do have people who have habits. And Tyson Fury has, he does antics. He does them at a certain time. You know, like for people like like for instance, when somebody get hit and they and they got a habit of making the face, yo, when you hit them 
And they make that face, be prepared to hit him again. So so basically what the, my man is saying is one, um, besides the right hand, him being able to time the right hand and uh, um, let me say it like this. So not only is he saying besides Teddy Atlas saying, look, the man can time, he blinds you with his left hand. So he blinds you so well with his left hand that you can't even see the right hand coming. This man is saying, yo, he also noticed the habits that you got. So if you got any habits of doing anything, he going to pop your behind, right? Your jaw, B, and you going down. So you know what I'm saying? And look, remember, remember, he said fighters have habits and tendencies. And that's what you look for as a trainer. You know what I'm saying? So, whatever habit, whatever habit you got to do it be is a negative for you. On the fact that the man, so he got skill, y'all. Y'all need to just shut up. Like, for real, though. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just, yo, I do this for a reason. There's too many of y'all talking too much noise and saying he can't do this, he can't do that. No, he can't do what you think he can't do. You know what I'm saying? What y'all look for as traditional fighting, as the norm. The norm in this country have been screwed up for the longest time anyway. In the world, really. You know what I'm saying? So I don't care what y'all think anyway. That's why he whooping y'all behind because y'all don't know that type of dude. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know. Y'all, 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 you can't prepare for that, B. You, can, you cannot prepare for that. Yo, same thing gonna happen. I don't fall for none of that crap Tyson Fury say, man. Yo, he going down, y'all. OMB signing out. Peace.